Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out and organizing my everyday makeup drawer. The goal for today is not to declutter any of the products, but rather to reorganize and make it a little bit easier for me to access because I have primers in with my mascaras, lip products in with my brows, and there's some products that I don't use as often, so I'm gonna be putting those aside, and I'm only gonna be putting the products that I reach for every day. The way that I've organized my everyday makeup drawer is by category. Even though it doesn't look like that right now, I have a bunch of my powders stacked right here. So I have blushes and I have bronzers and I have face powders. And then here I have like, this is a sample, but I have a random eyeshadow and I also have some larger palettes. I have my powder here, my bronzers. This is like an eyeshadow for me and highlighters, some loose powders. These are all my cream products. This is supposed to be my mascara drawer, but then I have overflowing like face products in here. This is where I put all my brow stuff, concealers, foundations, and powders. And then this is a foundation that couldn't fit. <laughs> and then a lot of my primers are in here as well. So that's an overview of my entire everyday makeup drawer. I'm not exactly sure if I should go by category or if I should just pull out stuff that I don't use on a daily basis. I think I'm gonna do it that way. So first of all, I don't use my Milk Makeup Setting Powder every day. I tend to go for my Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder instead. So this is something that I can put in the drawer beside me versus in the top drawer. And this is my NYC Smooth Skin Powder. And this is really old. Yep, there you can see it. I'm almost done this actually, so I don't want to get rid of it yet. This isn't a decluttering video, I have to keep reminding myself. So I'm gonna put this aside as well because I don't reach for this powder very often. And then this is actually like a lid for my Nude Sticks blush because if I put the lid on it, it doesn't fit nicely in the container. So that's why that was off. But we'll put it on for now and see if there's a spot that I can fit it in. This is my Fenty primer and I used to I used to use this all day, every day, but because it's a little bit thick right now, I'm not really interested in putting a lot of makeup on, so um, I will go for a different primer instead of this, especially in the winter months, so I'm gonna put this aside. Another two things that I don't use on a daily basis are my Clinique Pep Start. I use this in the summertime mostly because it's a really sheer tinted SPF, and then this is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. I actually don't use this that often, so I'll put this aside, and if I use it, Next summer, then I do. If I don't, then I'll pass it along. I don't tend to use this uh, foundation anymore. This is a Maybelline Fit Me, but I do love it still. So I'm going to put this in the makeup drawer beside my desk. Okay, this is a product that I have never even used. So I'm gonna put this in the drawer as well. And I just don't tend to go for powders for my brows anymore. So I'm gonna put this aside. I don't want things cluttering it up. I want just the basics that I definitely need. For mascaras, these are the only two mascaras I've been using. My Glossier one is so dirty. Um, but I use this as like an everyday one. This is the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. It's a brown mascara and it's absolutely amazing. They don't sell it at Sephora anymore. But this is one of my favorites of all time. And then this is my favorite black mascara, the Glossier Lash Slick. So these are the only ones I actually use. This one was the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise that everyone loves. I just don't love it. I barely, I think I've used it maybe once. I just think it's too clumpy for my lashes. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And then this is my Marc Jacobs one. I've never used this, but I'm going out tonight. So if I use it tonight, then I'll keep it. If I don't use it tonight, then I'm gonna pass it along because I don't really need it. Honestly, I could get rid of every single mascara except these two, but because I have them and they're still not, they still haven't gone bad, I'll just keep them for now. Um, another thing that I don't use, definitely don't use this every day. This is my Fenty, what is it called actually? The Kilowatt Foil in Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. Such a great product for the eyes. I love both of these, this one in the inner corner and then this one on the lid. So pretty, but I haven't used eyeshadow in a really long time, so I'm gonna put this in the other drawer. Highlighters is just not an everyday product for me. This is a really good one though. It's like $4 at the drugstore. 
it's pure nude highlighter by essence and yeah it's pretty good i'm gonna keep these because i do use these a little bit when it comes to face powders or like face palettes i do use these blushes a lot this is the makeup forever um I don't know what you call this, it's just a mini palette and it's like $2, but I love putting my MAC blushes or any blushes in here because they fit perfectly and they have magnets. So I use this for travel a lot. I don't think I'm going to put it at the front, but that's okay. We'll move it later. This is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I never use this. This is one of those really good products though, so I should use it. I'll keep it only because I need to use it up. Everything here I pretty much use. Okay, so now for doing a little bit of organizing, I'm going to categorize them properly and then I will rejig these organizers so that the stuff I use the most is at the front and then the stuff that I reach for a little bit less is at the back. Okay, so this is good because this is all my foundations. So that's working out well. These are all my concealers. So I'm gonna go through my brow drawer because it's looking a little bit too hectic. So two brow gels, two brow pencils. Those can go back in. Another brow pencil, that's fine. These are like brow scissors, so maybe I'll put these in the vanity because I don't use them. And then my brow pomade. That's looking a lot less hectic now, it just has the basics and none of these tools. So I'll put these tools like in my, where I put my brushes or something. I like the idea of having my cream products up here instead of behind because I reach for them often and I don't necessarily reach for my concealers. I'm gonna pick out brow products that I use every day. I use the Fenty brow pencil, my Precisely My Brow pencil, and my Glossy Boy Brow. And then I also use these two mascaras like I spoke about earlier, so I'll put those in with that and then all the extras I'll put here so this is kind of like an overflow of brow and eyelash products and then these are the ones I use every day I think this is looking a lot less intense and cluttered I'm kind of wondering if I should just put this whole section like underneath in the drawer I can always put like this here because I use that every day and then the rest of these are just like regular blushes. So I can honestly say that I can remove this from my makeup drawer altogether and just have this. I feel like getting rid of the blushes and the powders really simplifies this drawer altogether and I don't have to be overwhelmed by all of those. I'm gonna go over everything that I have in my everyday makeup drawer. Starting here, these are all of my makeup bases. So my primers, my oils, my sunscreens, that sort of thing. I have my brow products and my eyelash products right here where I use them every day. I have my foundations right in front and my cream blushes right here. I also have my cream bronzer, highlight, and contour stick right beside it because I tend to use these a lot and they used to be at the back. And then at the back here, now I have my overflow of mascaras and eyebrow products. And then I have in the middle my concealers, and another face base product and then I have my powder bronzer my powder blushes my face powder and an, a random eyeshadow that I want to be using so I'm really happy with the way that this is organized now and it just seems so much more manageable moving those products that I don't use every day into my other makeup drawer so I hope that you guys enjoyed this type of video I love organizing and I rearrange my everyday makeup drawer so much. I would love to do these videos more often. Just let me know in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!